So excited. They are finally here live in the flesh. It's Oliver and James Phelps, the Weasley twins of Harry Potter. Can we make some noise, please? Hey! There we go. I mean, actually, we shouldn't be so surprised to see them in the flesh because we saw them in the flesh a yeah, couple we of days ago. We we're, we're like old friends now, actually. So. <laughs> practically, practically. By the way, we are on Facebook Live, so do join us there. Facebook.com slash Class 5 FM. Uh, yes, indeed. All right. So they are in Singapore for Harry Potter Visions of Magic. Um, I know you've had time to explore the exhibition. Have you had time to explore Singapore as well since you got here? We've had a little bit. Yeah, this, so this is actually our third time. Oh, to Singapore oh, now. So okay. we've, oh, old we've done a few okay. things already, but uh, yeah, it's always good to come back, try some of your local delicacies and food. And is there yeah. anything yeah. that stands out for you so far? Is there anything you love particularly when it comes to Singapore food? I don't love, maybe a strong word, but I did. <laughs> I, okay. I, I did. No, no, I'm good. For a particular thing, I tried a carrot cake. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't have carrot in it. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, it's yeah, just, no. So you got that initial. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Why is it salty? Where's the carrot yes. feeling? Okay, um, got it. But it, um, we, whenever we travel, we like to get dive into all cultures and things like that. So um, yeah, it's good fun. Nice. Now let's just take it back to the year two thousand when you guys first auditioned to be Fred and George. Just being in that environment. I mean, what do you remember most about that time? Um, the most thing I remember is it just being a bit of a blur at the time because it was so fast paced. So from actually getting the roles to starting was probably a week, maybe two. Wow. And in that space was dying our hair ginger, which I didn't think would last as long as it did. Um, <laughs> and then this whole different world of, of, of world in front of us. And it was just, uh, it was a whirlwind, but it was fantastic. Yeah, really cool. So were you actors beforehand or did they just pluck you out of obscurity? What happened? Uh, yeah, pretty much that. Pretty we, much. We, uh, we, we heard that they were doing open auditions for yeah. the movies, and so we, we went, why not, give it a go. Uh, and then fast forward six auditions later, we got the parts. Wow. Um, that, all, that all pretty much happened over the summer holidays in wow. the UK. So yeah, uh, yeah it was uh, quite, a, quite a cool summer. They actually came to my school in Cambridge to, to, Did really, you to, to, you to audition? look at... Well, they, they just thought I wouldn't look good with red hair, but no, actually... They, <laughs> um, yeah, they, no, they, did, actually. they did pluck some of us from the drama club to, to, to do an audition. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of them. But it's okay, my life has turned out all right. You guys could have yeah. been yeah. colleagues, you know what I mean? We honestly. could well have been, yeah, but I think these guys are better at the job than I would have been. <laughs> um, talking about the exhibition, what excites you the most about it? To be honest, the most immersive thing I've ever been a part of to do with Harry Potter, you know, it is just as soon as you walk through, well, you go through the um, the night bus, as it were, when you go yeah. in. Yeah. And because it's all like, well, you guys saw it, how squished it is, and it feels like that transition bit in the films. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you've got a one that works. When we're filming, our ones didn't really work. So this is... <laughs> Don't wow. ruin it for me. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, but it's actually something where you can, you can, you know, literally cast at the wall or cast at... A fireplace cast at the sky at some points and you right. get a, you yeah. get a reaction to it yeah now the weasley twins are known for you know being very mischievous lots of pranks is there a particular part of visions of magic where you thought sort of best represents your playful personalities <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a bit so there's a so there's a brand new bit for visions of magic here in singapore you've got the chamber of secrets yeah, yeah. which going off question slightly you know when the door opens oh that is incredible in, by the we way love that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that but there's amazing. another bit the trap door where you have to sneak through f f past fluffy the three-headed dog mm. and it gets a bit bit dark and and uh things things could uh scare you if you weren't yeah. paying attention so i think you could have a bit of fun with there if you're with your friend and just jump out <laughs> well, well there's there's parts there where with your one i'm literally casting my spell right mm. now. uh you could do that and there's like flashes pop out and everything so yeah you can there are definitely a lot people. of places to hide as well if you do want to like jump out and jump scare your friends at yeah. the end i'm not encouraging that but no, 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 no. <laughs> if you want to you can but actually when you go through this exhibition i mean obviously it must bring back so many fantastic memories uh, of you filming Harry Potter. Is it great just to still be part of this world and still traveling around the world talking about Harry Potter? I mean, it's definitely a plus being able to travel the world with it. Yeah. Um, and the, and the, the amazing thing is, you know, we, we come all the way over here compared to where we filmed it from, you know, how many miles away we are from London. But people know about it people know exactly what you're talking yeah. about and we've already seen a demand for for people wanting to come tickets and everything like that i'm coming to see visions of magic so it's been an awesome thing and to be lucky enough to still be part of it and still being asked to come along is is something we love doing yeah we have a little game for uh, for them in a very very short whilst time we're gonna we're Ooh, gonna yeah. get to it in just a, a little bit yeah yeah, yeah we've got some questions on facebook <laughs> as well facebook.com slash cast 95 fm if you do have any questions for james and oliver otherwise known as the weasley twins in the hot seat with gene and ed
Class 95 weather. Pretty cloudy the rest of this evening. Temperatures at 30 degrees. Class 95 weather update is... All right, so we are still live on Facebook. Um, let's just take a look at some of the questions we've got. Um, bum, 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 bum. Welcome to Singapore. Hi, Fred and George, or hi, Gred and Forge. Is that a typo or is that a purpose? Uh, I think it's a purposeful a purpose. thing. Okay, all right, got Gred it. Gred and Forge. <laughs> um, there's a question about Maggie Smith, actually, and I guess just in general, to have worked with so many fantastic actors and actresses uh, in that series. I mean, coming from a non acting background, as you said, that must have been incredible. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And I think one thing that we always learned from all the adult actors was not just acting from them, but also how to behave on set, yeah. how to always be on time, always know your lines, mm. always respect everyone that you're working with. And that's something which I try to take. And we, well, we, everyone does, I think, on the movies, tries to take forward to every other job they do. Was it hard, actually? A little bit intimidating when you got on set and 100%. see all these great... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get it and you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on there? Um, <laughs> but again, at the same time, that probably makes you not mess about as much yeah. because you're th you're thinking right these guys aren't doing that um but even even before that like in the uh, the very first uh, read through uh we were sat next to rick mail who was dance play peeves the poltergeist in the first film and growing up i was a huge fan of his comedy like his comedy is yeah. basically shaped out my humor and there was a part where I was, I was just sat there the whole time thinking i'm sat next to rick mail right <laughs> and then it got to a point where we had to read our line which is when fred and george say the honestly woman i'm not you're not my mother to her uh, Honestly, woman, call yourself our mother. And I didn't know if anyone would laugh or anything around the table because it's like quite an intimate space, you know. Yeah. And all of a sudden he's just like, ha, 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 like banging on the table. And, and he looks just... quite scary when he laughs as well, right? Yeah, it was, it was brilliant. It was so, it was, it was one of those moments where you like meet, sometimes when you meet your heroes, they're awesome. Yeah. So it's cool. Aww. We have a bit of time, right? Well, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Harry Potter Wizard of Baking and how did that come about? Yeah, so uh, brand new show on Max now available now download oh it. yeah hbo uh, max has just come to singapore yeah, as well yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah so we're actually in manila yesterday uh doing the launch of max oh, across, across Asia. oh so, i see okay. so that was fun so um yeah so uh was the baking we we were asked to host this amazing baking show where they got the 18 of the best culinary chefs in america mm. uh, and they're all international so but they're based in america and they're right. actually the best in the world nice. made nine nine teams so two twos in a team yeah and basically whittled down to see who's the wizard of baking we filmed it at leaveston where we film the movies so we're actually on the wow. sets and every episode is based around a set and they have to create a bake to go with it and there's some wow. other harry potter actors who make guest appearances I saw on the yeah trailer. so so james and i we're just hosts on the show so we don't have any voting rights or anything like that so the voting is left to um <laughs> two culinary experts okay. um just yusuf and carla hall but then to assist them in several, in certain episodes. So Bonnie Wright came in, uh, Ivana Lynch came in, mm. and Warwick Davis came in as well. So it was actually really cool being back on the sets with those guys. And we were saying at times, it was like no time had swapped at all since we were filming, you know, it was awesome. Awesome, all right, stay with us. We're just gonna do the traffic very quickly. November, to seize the magic of our year-end offers. Enjoy added assurance with Cycle & Carriage 10-year engine warranty and lubrication service. Begin your journey with Mercedes-Benz today. Class 95 traffic update. All right, there's a vehicle breakdown on the PIE towards Tuas after Engnio Avenue and heavy traffic on the PIE towards Tuas between Payaleba Road and KPE exit. Drive safe. This traffic report is brought to you by Harvey... All right, so going back to Facebook as well... Uh -huh. um, a lot of tabs open on the computer. All right, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you have a favorite line that sticks with you both until this day from David Lau? <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few. I think Mischief Managed has always been a big one. And um, that was that was a line when, when Fred and George had to do it, when it's associated with the map. A lot of people seem to like that. And they're on well. bumper stickers as well and things like that. That's really <laughs> fun, so yeah. <laughs> We got quite a few uh, messages, actually. Uh, Jordan says here, there's one thing they are allowed to change about the Weasley twins. Oh, hang on. It just sort of skipped. <laughs> in which you're allowed to sort of keep in the movie set in the books. What would it be? Which you're allowed to keep in the movie set in the books. Hmm. Ooh, um, 
I don't know, really. I, I mean, one thing I would change about the, the characters in general was some of the haircuts. <laughs> interesting choices. Dodgy ones. ones. Yeah, yeah, there's a few shocking, mullets rocking yeah. around at some yeah. point. But I guess like that's representative of, you know, bad haircuts we all had in school, right? I guess so, so yeah. yeah. The only difference is ours are stapled in time forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cute. All right, let me see what else we have here. Um... Um, ju- 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 ju. Hello, James Oliver. How was your experience working with the Weasley family? Are you still in touch with them all, especially Julie Walters, since you finished filming? So when we when we finish filming, as you say, there's this there is a family bond there. You yeah, know, we'll, we'll drop messages to each other. You know, just on Christmas or birthdays or something like that. Um, actually, the last time we were in Singapore, we were filming a travel show, and we did uh, we had Mark Williams who played Mr. Weasley. We saw as that as our guest yeah. on the show. So he when we came, he was like, right, I need to explain to you the history of Singapore. And he, he literally <laughs> pulled out these ancient maps. He'd gone to the library, his local library, and wow. pulled these, uh, and, and, and it showed like why like Singapore actually ended up being a, a port and a destination because what? of the typhoon that, that, that is like, classic dad mad. stuff yeah, it was it was literally like really that, yeah. stuff yeah <laughs> That's incredible. Hey, we're going to be back on air in 40 seconds. Um, so we do have that game to play as well. And we've got so plenty more questions to get through. So if you do have any burning questions for James and Oliver, do stick them in the comments, facebook.com slash class 95 FM. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we've got a couple of seconds. We're going to get to it. And maybe if we have time, we can do maybe two more questions on Facebook as well. Yeah, okay. I think so. And just very quickly before we do go back on air, just to give you a little bit of an indication of what the game is it's testing your knowledge of harry potter spells oh, okay yeah, you <laughs> sound think, enthusiastic I think, this, I think this stuffed hedwig would have a better idea than me but we'll see we'll see all right here we go back on it it's the new one from lisa the black pink moonlit floor here on class 95 the best mix of music it's 538 gene and ed with you on cartoons we're doing this in the hot seat with Jean and Ed. We're on Facebook Live as well, so you can join us there, facebook.com slash class 85 FM. Very excited. We've got Oliver and James Phelps, the Weasley twins of Harry Potter. Hello. Hey, there we go. <laughs> They're still here. And a whole lot of fans, yeah. They've woken up now. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so we've got a little game. I guess we don't have a name for it. Uh, maybe, maybe spell or not. Yeah, I was trying to come up with something <laughs> catchy, but not. I need another coffee. So uh, <laughs> anyway, basically, are we going to play it now? Yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, let's do it now. So basically, we've got a list of, uh, well, spells. Some of them are actual spells and some of them are not spells. Mm. So you need to tell us if these are real spells or fake spells. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay we've right. got music Oh, yeah, we've got music. Should we do the music? All right, yeah, comes, we should do the music. the music. Let's go do it. Are you sick of this music yet, by the way? <laughs> It's like a shadow at times. It's always <laughs> it just follows there. you around. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's a great, it's a great bit of composure, isn't it, from uh, John Williams? No, it's fantastic. It's stick in someone's head as well. <laughs> you start humming this on the train. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. On the way back, actually, after we are at Harry Potter Visions of Magic, I was singing it in the car. All right. <laughs> Should we go with number one? Okay, we'll go with the first one. Accio. Real or fake? Real. 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 What does it mean? What does a- it do? Appear. Or yeah, summon, that's or right. Like that. Summons an object towards the caster. There we go. All right. Oh, am I doing the next one? I'll do the next one. Right? <laughs> okay. Finestra. No. It's is, real. Is it? What's it? It doing? is. It's a charm that apparently shatters glass. Oh, that's oh, Why didn't them. I know that one? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of spells. In <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next one. Curio. Curio. Um, that's real. That's a real one when you want a curry. I was going to say, that's my Wednesday night, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually like a type of curry puff here in Singapore. <laughs> well done, yeah. guys. Yeah, do you, do, you, do you want to do the next one, sir? Uh, okay, another one. Alama. Alama. That no. sounds more local than anything else. Very good. Is it? Yeah. Right. What does it mean? It just means like, a, oh no, or like, oh my gosh. Okay. It's an expression that you use Say that again? in English. Alama. 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 Yeah. Alama. Yeah. English word there for you. Mm. All right. Uh, Brachium emendo. That sounds real. So, yeah, yeah that real one's word. real. Yeah, it's a healing spell. If used correctly, it's claimed that this spell will heal broken bones. Oh, mm. okay. Next. Bullet hitam. That's not a spell. <laughs> I'm gonna say. 
It's not a spell. You guys are good, man. I thought <laughs> we'd get you on one of them. <laughs> it's actually a, it's a dessert. It's like a sweet treat. It's a glutinous rice. There's like coconut milk in it. It's actually really good. You probably love it. And is that, is that, is, could I get that like a hawker market or anything like that? Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, okay. right. You can. We'll you arrange that. Your we'll get we'll arrange could, well, you could make that into a real... So if you go Visions of Magic and you're casting your spells, mm. you should try that. Make a Singapore... Right. Spells, oh you? my gosh, I think we should. Yeah, there we go. Is there space at Resorts World Sentoso for a new room? Just you can just <laughs> magic whatever you want. We'll work on that. Uh a scousy. A scousy. I'm gonna say that is a scousy. Yeah, I'm gonna say that is a spell. That is a real spell. Apparently it seals someone's mouth shut, making it appear like it was never there. Wow. That's something you never want on radio, is it? You are exactly, <laughs> yeah. Next. Oh, I'll do this one, okay. okay. Rick to Sempra. That's a real one. Oh, that one sounded confident. Malfoy, you know what it does? Malfoy says that, doesn't he? Is yes. that Lawrence's spell? No, that's a sorcery, isn't it? Go on, go on, go on, go on. I don't know. No. It's a battle spell, isn't it? It tickles the target until they become weak with laughter. It's a tickling charm, apparently. Ooh. Oh, our music's right now. Okay, well, we're on to the last one. <laughs> <laughs> one more? Yeah, we'll All finish right. it out. Go on. Hi, <laughs> Di Lao. Hi, Di Lao. Well, that's, that's not real, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very famous uh, hot pot I was franchise. Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you guys did Good really well. Good job, thank you guys. Aww. Very impressive. Well done. I've never got a whole quiz right before, so I'm kind of <laughs> well, there, maybe, maybe you just haven't, <laughs> <laughs> just haven't encountered a quiz that I wrote before. That's, that, that's probably why. Yeah, that I'll write all well your quizzes done. from now on. Um, do we have a couple more questions on Facebook we want to get through before we before we say goodbye to them? Uh, yeah. Let me see now. Well. <clears throat> How about from Stella? Yeah, it says, Hi both, what's a question you've always wanted to answer slash always wanted to be asked about the films? I mean, I guess you guys must have been asked all the questions yeah. about Harry Potter by now, right? There's, there's a lot on the way. Um, one thing I will answer, which not many people have asked about, is obviously Visions of Magic here being in, in Singapore. It is literally twice the size of a Vision of Magic what's out in, the, in um, Europe at the moment. So wow. it, is, it is massive. Um, so that's one thing I would say. And they said there's over, I, I'm a bit of a geek for facts and all that kind of yep. stuff. So there's over two kilometers worth of LED stripping, like strips to go around to make all the, wow. the things that you mm. see. So uh, there's a lot, a lot of things to, to see and do. Very nice. And any uh, thoughts or, you know, final words for your fans who are very excited to sort of uh, have you here in Singapore again? Yeah, yeah well, just first of all, thank you so much for the warm welcome and yeah. all, the, all the lovely messages that what people are sending us or if we bump into people in the street, you know, how, how warm and welcoming they are. And it's uh, it always just reminds us what a lovely part of the world it is to come and visit. Oh, nice. How often do you get uh, recognised in the streets? I mean, you're so striking. Thank you. Does it, well, <laughs> so tall. Especially in Singapore because you're tall and you have kind of reddish hair, which is also quite rare. But the, height, yes. the height definitely helps. Um, it, it happens quite regularly, yeah. but it's always nice. The, what you learn is that the the vast, vast, vast majority of people on this planet are very nice people. Um, so it's it's always very, very nice for people to... And also what we, especially in Singapore, everyone wants you to be having a good time yeah. and to share their, your culture with us. And we're very appreciative of that. So thank you. Oh, I'm we're glad. glad. We're glad a you're nice having a good time things. here in Singapore. Anyway, make sure you go and experience it yourself. Harry Potter Visions of Magic. Thank you very much, Oliver and James, for joining us here today on the show. What a privilege to thank have you. you here. Thank you very nice much, you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Oh.